Chief Justice David de Maraga today reached out to the Senate in what appears to be an effort to find a way out of the stalemate between the judiciary and the executive. And while the details of the discussions remain scanty, Maraga, who met the Senate leader of majority Samuel Pogisho and minority whip Irungu Kangata, said the discussions were centered on ways in which the two arms of government can work together more cordially. NTV's Silas Apollo with more. After close to a week of wrangles between the executive and the judiciary, Chief Justice David Maraga today hosted the leadership of the Senate. The meeting which was held at Maraga's office in the Supreme Court building comes at a time when the judiciary and the executive were pulling even further apart. Maraga says the meeting was a courtesy call by the newly elected leadership of the Senate. We have discussed uh, quite a number of matters, how the judiciary can cooperate uh, and work with the Senate. There are quite a number of uh, matters that uh, we, we work, we work uh, together. Our matters were just directly Senate and the judiciary. We, we do not have uh, issues dealing with matters that are executive. But even though they divulged very little about what went on in private, the timing of the meeting was telling, given recent events where the Chief Justice and the Attorney General have faced off. Besides the failure by the President to appoint the 41 judges to the bench, Maragas also accused the executive of interfering with the independence of the Judicial Service Commission, a department under the judiciary. The Kenya Human Rights Commission today said the stalemate between the judiciary and the executive was unhealthy and called on President Kenyatta to expedite the appointment of the judges to forestall a possible fallout. It's a good thing to relate this way. We are beginning well. We want to begin our leadership. We're just understanding what are the issues so that when they come to parliament, we are able to, to, um, to deal with things that we understand. The wrangles between the two arms of government have partly been blamed on what some in the executive have termed as the activism within the judiciary, which has in most cases ruled against the government. It is also seen as a muscle flexing contest after the Supreme Court nullified the election of President Uhuru Kenyatta in 2013, something the executive swore to revisit. Silas Apollo, NTV.